circles and squares and ovals. Oh my! Are you confused about crocheting an oval? Let me take the mystery out of them and give you the confidence to successfully crochet ovals today. So let's get started. I have some projects here that all start with an oval. Here is an arm for an amigurumi. Here's a baby booty. Here is a slipper. And here is a little bag. And you can see that they all start with an oval at the bottom. Here's an oval I've done with three rounds, and I'm going to teach you to do the first round of an oval. Now ovals will be made differently in different patterns. But the one thing they have in common is working on both sides of the foundation chain. And I've done 10 chains here to start with. And I'm going to do increases at both ends. Ovals always have to have increases at both ends. You can start with increases here and end with increases and split them up, or you can start with no increases and end with all of them, or start with all of them and end with none. I'm going to start with half of my increases at the beginning. So I'm going to work in the second chain from the hook, and I'm going to do three single crochets into that second chain. And that will give me a little over half of my increases at this end. Now ovals are always worked with even stitches in the middle. So we'll work one single crochet in each of the next seven chains. And I'm still inserting my hook under two strands of the chain, the top strand and the back strand so that all of my chains and my single crochets will be even. That will give me one loop of my chain at the bottom, which is not worked into yet. Okay, we've got the three at the beginning and five, so we need two more. And that will bring us to the last chain And in the last chain, I'm going to work all of my increased stitches. So here, I'm going to work five single crochets. Your pattern may call for three or four or five single crochets, or perhaps your first row or round of your oval is worked in half double crochets or doubles, or it could even be in a combination of the stitches. So just follow the pattern and you'll do fine. Okay, let's make sure we've got, here's the first of my stitches, one, two, three, four, and five. And you'll see they curve around to the other side of the chain. And these are my free loops in that foundation chain right here. I have one free loop for each chain. And I've already worked into this last chain, so I need to work one single crochet in each of those next chains in that free loop. And I'm going to also work over the tail. So that helps weave in that tail at the same time. So we want to make sure that we only go into seven chains, working even, and then we'll end up at the first chain where I worked three single crochets. And let's make sure we've got the five here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have one more chain. Sometimes you have to help that hook get in there. Okay, here is the free loop 
of my first chain that I worked into and I worked three single crochets in there. So I'm going to work two more for a total of five. And when you're working in an oval, you may have joined rounds or you may work into a, in a spiral. So if I'm go doing joined rounds, I'm going to skip that chain that I skipped at the beginning of the round and I'm going to slip stitch into that first single crochet right there. And then I would follow the rest of the pattern for the other rounds in the oval. But this is how you work in the free loops on the opposite side of your foundation chain to form an oval. There you have it! Mystery solved! Now you can confidently crochet projects that start with ovals. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and happy oval crocheting to you. Okay. So, you're a newer be bleh.